Misfits is definitely taking an L. I'm loving Misfits. I've stuck to them. I've done everything. Every single Misfits. I've covered it since the start. And now we finally, I thought we've had some lows, but I think this one is now underneath the carpet. From Vitaly Modine, that fight being unwatchable pretty much, to, you know, some great fights, a knockout from Joey Knight, to being swatted. That's, uh, I mean, we're gonna get all, we're gonna get all into this, um, fucking hell. Modine versus Vitaly. So Modine didn't swing, didn't throw a single punch. I don't know what he was afraid of. He wasn't swinging, he was running. He was running to the hills, if he can find them, okay? <laughs> Cause dude was turning his back and everything. Vitaly was throwing those punches like he was trying to knock his head off, but <laughs> swinging a miss, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and get into the first fight, which is Joey Knight versus Baby Hulk. I had Joey winning this and I knew the technical boxer was going to win out box the scrapper. Baby Hulk is of course from uh, M MMA background from uh, Street Beefs. Oh! Overhead left from Joey. Oh! Right hook. Come on. Oh! He's down! Straight! On the camera, he's gonna get up. It's over. Oh, it's so. All right, here's here we go. Oh, hey, hey. Don't underestimate Joey, man. I knew he had it. I think he might actually. He might take. He might go far in this tournament. I think. Okay, so now uh, we're moving on right on to Yeti Gang versus Cray Cray. Now they didn't get to finish their fight. Beginning of this fight, second round, into the third, uh, people started evacuating the building. Uh, there was, uh, I didn't know what was happening, so I was watching this live and I was like, what the hell's going on? Everybody left, even Todd Grisham was like, all right, we're, we gotta leave. And then like, you see police come in. And I was like, what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? So of course, I don't know what the hell's going on. I gotta go on to, uh, social media and f figure out what the fuck's going on. Apparently, a bomb threat has been threatened at the, uh, the venue and the whole police and SWAT team had to come in and evacuate everybody and clear the whole building. And then all of a sudden, it isn't just the crowd. It isn't just the fans. It's the equipment people. It is the commentators. It is the fighters all being escorted out of the venue. And we're all sitting here in disbelief, wondering what the fuck just happened. Sure enough, we find out there was a bomb scare. Rumors are out there on to who caused it. Right now, there is no definitive answer, at least not publicly. So I don't want to say it was this person or that person. Genuinely, I have no idea. But regardless, it's fucked up to do. And it's a scumbag move. You're a punk if you're swatting anyone. Not just an event like Misfits, which gets a lot of attention because it is a massive event and there's multiple people involved. Thank God everyone was safe. But doing shit like this is scumbaggery and you're a punk if you do it. I don't care who you are. Jail time is the only answer for that. Here, time. updating you. Basically, what happened is the local law enforcement authorities, out of an abundance of caution, asked everyone to clear the arena so they could do an in-depth security check. They did that. We've been given the all clear. So we will continue the show. As for the fight you were watching before we had to evacuate, that fight between UD Gang TV and Little Cray Cray was in round two. It has been determined that is a no contest. So it's like that fight never happened. They will refight or have that fight at a later date. This should have been fighting them. It should have been. This just goes to show how much of a shit show this night was. Oh, man. So... You game versus cricket. Uh, that I think that should have been fight of the night. It should have been. Um, I think Joey should have got knocked out, or he did. Whoever did that, they deserve jail time, bro. They need to be fined or something. Like whoever, they need to find out. Trace the calls. Do your FBI research and stuff. Figure ping ping their location. Figure out who who. Someone called it in, right? The police, do you do the police job, bro? You can find these murderers out here calling people and texting everybody, but you can't call them. 
You can't find... Okay, so now that uh, we got the clear to go back into um, the venue so that the fights can continue, I'm, I'm so glad that it actually went on. I thought they were gonna like stop it from where it was and then just put postpone the whole thing. So after the whole bomb squad comes in, checks it, gives us the clear, the fights continue. So we move on to Taylor Holder versus DWG Earth. And I was looking for Taylor Holder's uh, return after Gibb. Oh! This is DWG Earth's first fight, and this is Taylor Holder's fight on four-day notice. So he's a little rusty. You can tell they're both gassed. Yeah, wasn't he the one who was... Hey, 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 oh! He's dumb, bro. He can't even breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He's done. They cut me, Dave, off. <laughs> The way that Chris Avila uh, addresses his uh, his winning uh, speech, it's, it's a snack to miss his face. To be honest. It's hard to score, if I will say. Looking at them, Bobby looks like he just went swimming. Whereas sure. Avila seems like he was just hanging out on the couch. The sweat difference is absurd. Now, sweat obviously doesn't mean fatigue, but very, very different sort of from you right now. There you go. I think I said I was Chris Miller was going to win this, and he, he's putting good fashion on uh, possible. Ten seconds, let's go. Another thing that happened that made a downfall on Misfits this night was Avila saying that Misfits was a doof show. I mean, it sucks that a, like a, a decent fighter, a real fighter, has to say this about Misfits. We're here to put on a show, right? This is what Misfits is here for. We're here to put a show for everybody. Not only the fight fans, if they want to see it. Chris Avila versus Bossweight or the people who want to see their favorite creators fight, hence Fox the G, or, you know, so-and-so, King Kang, you know, KSI. Yeah, it was just a mad blow when he said that, he said, no disrespect, but Misfits is a goof, goof show, a bunch of goofballs, fuck Misfits. I was with Misfits from the beginning. I was here from the beginning. And to see this happen, right, crumble right in front of my eyes. It's, it's heartbreaking now. It really is. The main event just falls apart. I thought I was rooting for Foxy G. After his last performance of the greatest knockout, the brutalest knockout we've ever seen on this field, he gets his shot at a main event. 2v1. The most wanted didn't even want to walk. He got scared more than Fox, than Joey Knight. He was in a bigger venue when he fought Joey Knight. So... Either it was the bomb threat, either he's scared of Fox. I don't know what it was. It was the nerves. I don't know. It couldn't have been the nerves. I don't think it was the nerves. I think what the problem was is I think most wanted, the plan was for most, most wanted and evil hero, most, most evil, 
I think most wanted was gonna go in the ring first. That's what they planned. And he was he was not allowed. He thought he was gonna get knocked out. He wasn't gonna do it. Evil hero. He's going on for a payday. He didn't even want to do it. He's like, this is not what I signed up for. This is not what I signed up for. Motherfucker got a bag. He got a bag. For going in the ring and being like, oh, he hit me in the back of the head. What the fuck? I love Misfits, but this is not the way to do it. They should have had, they should have, uh, the tournament, the lightweight tournament, they should have focused on that. The worst Misfits card there ever will be. Jeez, the fox. Evil Hero doesn't want to be in there, man. You can just tell. And it's out. It's outmatched too. Like it's. We all knew Fox to G was gonna beat both Evil Hero and Most Wanted. And then here we go. Oh my! The back of my head. Bro went in there for a fucking payday, bro. We're only two minutes in. Major letdown from Todd Grisham. I wouldn't have said it better. I mean, he did kind of hit him in the back of the head, but... Oh, man, what to say, what to say. I'm let down, very let down. I'm, I'm glad there wasn't a pay-per-view, shit. <laughs> but, man, uh, Misfits has some things to figure out. I mean, I've been here from the start. Even I think it's shit. <laughs> a bunch of excuses for most of them to not even walk. But for some reason, he walked and took the fight versus Joey Knight and got knocked out, which I don't get. Uh, it must have been the bomb threat. It must have been the new country. It must have been the guns. America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but other than that, man, this whole thing was just a disaster. What a shit show. I hope the next Misfits, uh, Misfits card is going to be better than this. Uh, oh, shit. It better be better than this.